Hello, boys and girls. I am Mr. Tomas, like always. This is my name, Tomas Costanzo. This is the Intermediate English course for Business English. This is our 15th guide. Interesting. It's been a, <laughs> it has been a long run, hasn't it? <laughs> hasn't it? Well, today is the 9th of March. And God, we are on, we're still, <laughs> we are right on March. We're nearing the end of the course, so you should be, well, I'm not sure if you're happy or not. I hope you enjoy this course because it, it, it was really, it was extremely fun for me, at least. If you don't, if you didn't like it at all, you can just tell me on the comment section. I check the comment section, trust, section, trust, trust me. I do. <laughs> I do, yes, I do. Very good. So now we're going to start. Well, for today, I, um, well, today we're going to read an article here. There you can do. You, there you can see it. It's called Worry, Worry for Deep Retailers is Web Shopping Clicks into Place. And well, sadly, I cannot make it bigger. Well, yes, yes, I can. I mean, what is that? It says books, cards, and accessories, computers, and software. <laughs> right. I'm not sure what it is. Trust me. So, nevertheless, it doesn't matter. So, let's move on with it. Oh, very good. Just let's move on with the class, shall we? Now, very good. So, now we're going to read it. It's called, Well, Where if the Retailers as Web Shopping Clicks into Plays? And we have to read it because we have to. Do this activity first with B. Then we can do activity D, which is answering some questions. And then we're going to check some grammar. I hope you have already have you have already finished this guide before you watch the video. As always, I tell you, I recommend you to do the activities before you watch the video so you don't. So you do the process on your own. That's a good I that's a very good uh, way to to learn uh, in my opinion. So well, without further, further ado, let's just cook into place. What is that? Sorry, yes. Very good. So it says Skim the article and find out why some retailers are worried. Well, you can do that if you want, or you can just read the article and then just uh, finish this activity B and then do activity D. Well, this is activity C, so you don't need to worry about it. Very good. So let me see. Some retailers are where all right so sorry <laughs> uh let me let me just make it bigger and now i'm going to read it says uh worry for retailers as web shopping clicks into place by elizabeth rigby for traditional stores online shopping has be has become a cause of concern in a difficult retail environment and so the internet is accounting for more spending than ever. In addition, it also makes it easier for consumers to compare prices across a far bigger selection of items than a trip to the high street. Obviously, of course, there's no doubt about it. So, uh, well, and, and it goes the way the internet encourages people to show, not sorry, to shop. 
about is having a big impact impact on the market, says Ninglading of Verdict Research, a consultancy, which is a consultancy. Very good. Internet retailers have been able to offer cost prices because they don't have to bear the cost of running a physical shop. Prices because they don't have. Sorry, I'm thinking for myself. <laughs> really sorry. Let's move on with it. So we have price comparison websites such as Calcu, where shopper can compare prices on any product from DVDs to product perfume to get a best deal. Make the market even more competitive, which make the market even more competitive. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, so we can see that so far internet shopping as you may uh, as anyone would say internet shopping is very useful because you can compare compare prices as it says here across the far bigger selection of items <coughs> then trip to the high street and well nowadays you can think of our current situation worldwide that some websites are proliferating as regards when to buy certain products online. You'll uh, also, or paying for services such as a hotel room, you can think of uh, websites such as trivago.com. Those, that is also uh, online selling, which is the topic we're dealing with here. And then you can you can give yourself an idea. It is a lot more competitive online because you are always just one click away from arrival. Yes, says as CEO. Retailers selling electronical goods have been particularly hit by the internet. As items such as televisions and DVD players become more common purchases. I can well. Yes, you could say, I'm not so sure uh, about it, in my opinion, but well, it's an article, it's not my opinion, it's someone else's, so let's go on reading. This creates a dilemma for retailers who sell products both online and in shops. Well, you can think of it sometimes, uh, a shop could have a website online and you, you're buying things that are on stock in the shop so there is no well so there is a there isn't actually a lot of <laughs> flaws in the system so some bricks and water retailers are adopting a model of dual pricing in order to keep that position online bricks and water it's a new one i like it bricks and mortar are adopting a model of dual pricing in order to keep their position online while maintaining margins in their shops. Trust me, uh, I'm telling you, if you find this part boring, you can just skip it. I should have said that beforehand. <laughs> I'm sorry, but well, for future references, although uh, uh, in our next, in our, in our final two classes, we won't have reading activities. I've just checked. The, the material we're working with, and there are many reading and activities uh, to do, uh, mostly listening parts. That's what we're going to focus on, on this final part <laughs> of the course. Very good, it's pricing in order to give that position while maintaining margins in their shops. Mr. Glading says, dual prices, if you, Sorry, I forgot to tell you if you are if you have already read the text, you can just skip this part. Well, maybe I just said that. I'm sorry if I just repeated myself. <laughs> Mr. Gladian says dual pricing will become harder to practice as consumers make better at surfing the internet. Sorry, become better at surfing surfing the internet. In the longer run, prices must come together, he says. To be successful in operating in, in the online and offline world, retailers would probably try to integrate the two as much as possible. Uh, yes, that would. 
Well, yes, let's move on. No comments <laughs> as possible. Some businesses, for example, have set up their operations to allow customers to shop online over the telephones or in the stores, which is what we're seeing now, witnessing now nowadays. This type of, I think this type of businesses are proliferating nowadays. You can find them anywhere. Although, well, it's always my opinion. So why are some retail, why some retailers are worried? Well, why is it that some retailers are? Well, you could say that No, oh, sorry, I'm going to erase it. Very good, so this could be the answer to the question. So remember that if you wrote any a different type of answer, you can tell me on the comment section, you can say no, Professor, you're wrong. It's not that. That's not the answer. Well, Professor, I've never called myself that. <laughs> yeah, why? Is it so self-centered? I'm sorry. <laughs> Very good. So, yes, let's move on to the previous one. It says, Max, these words and phrases from the article 1 to 7 with their meanings A to G to G. High street. Well, here you have the high street. And it's called the street in a town where you can find most shops and banks. It's odd. I actually didn't know that. <laughs> Very good. And it's called this one is Cuthrow. Well, uh, I I'm, I'm not sure about Cothrow. So, well, first of all, let's look at the the meanings. You can we have High Street, Cothrow, a dilemma, a bricks and mortar, a dual pricing, margin, the shop about. So, well, we can just start reading. Trust me, this is a very useful process when you do this type of activities. You first read these ones here, and then you go on reading the meanings. And well, you can just just start answering it uh, as soon as you read the meaning that you think it's more suitable for each of them. And so we have a situation when you have to make a very difficult choice. I would say it's a dilemma. So well, yes, we have it like that. Go to different shops to compare prices and quality before you buy something. Uh huh. I would say to shop about. And well, yes, we have bricks and mortar. I would say it's actually operating in a building, not on the internet. Trust me, as always, if you have a different answer than what I'm giving you here, you can always tell me on the comment section. I have, trust me, I know when someone is uh, taking notes on the comment section and on the on the guides that we have been working with that I upload. Trust me, I know the system tells me uh, these uh, these these uh, these people this man this woman uh, watched it. This one, this woman doesn't. And so I know, trust me, it's not that I'm blind. 
I know when when no one is watching my videos and no one is uh, paying attention to the guides. And trust me, the examination could be very hard if you don't follow my instructions. At least I think so. Uh, maybe I am wrong and you're very capable, very good learners, you know, a lot of English. And in that case, I am actually happy. Very good, very good. I really like people who learn on their own. Trust me, I have great respect for them. But well, so let's move on, sorry. <laughs> let's move on here. We have the difference between the cost of buying or producing something and the price you sell you sell it for. Well, in this case, it's obviously Martin. And well, the streets in a town where you can find shops and banks, it's the high street. And well, we have setting two different prices online and in shops for the same goods. And well, that's obviously dual pricing. And well, we have extremely unfair or unfairly competitive. And well, it's interesting. I didn't know the car throw, that's what it meant. That's what it meant to be a car throw. It's extremely or unfairly competitive. Uh, let's see, where was it here? You can always go back to the text and just see what it is. pricing <laughs> well so let's move on i'm sorry uh yes it is recording it's still recording i'm sorry i'm always scared <laughs> well we have to offer carter prices because they do not have to bear the cost of running a physical shop internet retailers have been able to offer carter prices I'm not sure. Well, as always, if I think I'm wrong, I am going to correct it before I submit it to you. So you'll find the correct answers afterwards. Or you can just tell me, no, Professor, you're wrong, as always. Oh. <laughs> right. Very good, it's so. Well, extremely or unfairly competitive. Although, well, I'm not sure because now it seems that it's the difference between the cost of buying or producing something and the price you sell it for. Where is Martin? Sorry, you can just skip this part here because I'm just <laughs> I'm puzzled. Martins. That's where it says while maintaining Martins in their in their shops. Says dual pricing will become harder to practice as consumers become better at surfing the internet. Must come together, he says. Well, if you don't understand much of this, uh, remember that this is a business English uh, course. The point here is to learn English, actually. So, economy is not. Uh, if, if economy is not your strong suit, oh well, it's not my <laughs> strong suit, then it's uh, it's not necessary, I, uh, I would say. But well, 
It says here, give two reasons why online shopping makes the market extremely competitive. And well, the first one is that Well, the first one is that it is more, oh, sorry. I'm going to make it right here. Uh, the first one was that it is very, as it says here, it is a lot more comp competitive online because you're always just one click away from a rival, says the CEO. just leave it like that is it is very competitive online or you can just say online shopping it's very competitive because you're always one click away it's very competitive Because you're always one click away from arrival. That's one of the reasons. And which is the other reason? Sorry. We have price comparison websites. You can say that websites that allow compa comparison also cause competition. Well, that's not actually an answer. I think I'm wrong, but well, then again, I'm going to check it and I'm going to send it for you. Uh, so you can check your answers. You can always, as always, as always, uh, you can always tell me on the comment section, you're wrong. <laughs> I hope you don't. In a difficult position. Why are retailers who sell products both online and in shops in a difficult position? DVD players. I think this one here. Retailers here selling electronic goods have been particularly hit by the internet as items such as televisions and DVD players become more common purchases. Although, I'm not sure, but well, we can just.
play it too as much as possible. Very good. So I think that's the answer. Electronic goods have been particularly hit by the internet as items such as televisions and DVD players become more common purchases. Right, yes. Selling so, the triangle goods have been particularly hit by the internet. Well, you can say that. Oh, sorry. Say that. Is because. Some items are very common purchases. Some items, oh, sorry, such as televisions televisions and DVD players. DVD players are very common purchases. I think that that was the answer, right? Becoming more common purchases, both online and in shops. Yes, that was the answer. Very good. Let's move on to the next one. Number three says, why is the practice of dual pricing only a short-term solution according to Mr. Gladding? That's such a very strange name. <laughs> right. Number three says, uh-huh. Dual pricing will become harder to practice as consumers become better at surfing the internet. And well, you can always answer in full. You can say, according to, Mr. Gladding, or Glading, as you prefer it. Oh, sorry. According to Mr. Glading, dual pricing Will become harder to practice as consumers become better at surfing the internet. No, I think he says because according to Mr. Glading, you can say in the longer run, all prices must come together. So, if that was your answer, very good, you're correct. All prices must come together and, well, make the best of both online and offline worlds. Well, it's said, it's said here because they have to integrate the two as much as possible. Uh huh. So we we the the answer is that retailers can make the best of both well both the online and offline world by integrating the two of them. as much as possible. That was your answer. Very good, you are correct. Congratulations.
And so, well, here we are nearing the final part of the lesson. In this case, we're going to review some grammar aspects because we have a lot of grammar on the final examination and I, and I, I hope, I feel <laughs> that you know a lot about grammar. I truly hope so because grammar is so beautiful. I, well, I'm not sure what you, th what you think, but yes, we could say. And so, well, it, it says language review, models to, must, need to, have to, should. Well, you can, you can always, first you can, ha you have to ask yourself, what is a model? And well, models are operators and auxiliaries. The auxiliaries, so they go before the main verb, and you already know that because, well, you have it all in your head, I know, but you don't know why. You don't know the whole process. And the whole process can be rather boring most of the time, I think so. There are many, there are many of us who like the learning how grammar works. So we have, we use should or shouldn't to say that it's a good or a bad idea to, some, to do something. And that's why in the article it said, online retailers should acknowledge all orders by email and websites shouldn't be too complicated. And the second one, it says, we have to, need to, to say that something is necessary or very important. And so, well, should is related to the idea of advice or something that is preferable something that it's better at a long run. And we use have to, need to, to say that something is necessary or important as it says here. The sign has to work quickly and effectively. Online retailers need to, need to offer guarantees to their customers. And we use don't have to or don't need to if, it's, if something is not necessary, the other way around. I'm not sure why they include that because it's, <laughs> redundant. <laughs> you don't have to queue when you buy online. Well, that's one of the advantages. I would say because you can buy something immediately and you don't have to wait for something and you have to go nowhere. If you buy now, you don't need to pay anything until next year. And well, that's uh, another very useful advantage. And well, this is a very interesting one. Must is very similar to have to. I really must try to spend less money online. But be careful with this. But mustn't is not the same as don't have to. Use mustn't to say that somebody is not allowed to do something. So, well, sometimes must, it can be as like a, an, like a should or and advice. And well, mustn't, it deals with the idea of permission of something that you can't do. And when you're not allowed to do something, and so you say you mustn't use the internet at home for personal purposes, sorry, at work for personal purposes. Don't use the internet at home for personal purposes. I mean, that's, the equivalent, if you use the do and don't, another type of auxiliary, but not a model verb, be careful with it. Right, so, well, we are going to do the final activity. I hope this is going to be useful for you in the final examination, because there is a, a whole, uh, in, there is a one activity which is, uh, which deals with models and i'm not sure how people feel about it <laughs> models are so tricky well it says here complete these sentences with suitable endings a and each uh, one to eight with a and each as always you have to read first here it's getting late i can work from home i've been transferred to madrid this deal is too important to lose we lost our database once before. I'm afraid this report is urgent. 
I think we're all in agreement or we've, we've still got plenty of stock in the warehouse. And so, well, we suitable and as we say, so we don't need to order any more yet. Uh, and well, uh, as I said before, the process can be quicker if you do it that way because we don't, we, so we don't need to order any more yet because as it says here, we still got plenty of stock in the warehouse. And well, here it says, so we must not make a mistake. And well, that could be either four or five <laughs> or six. <laughs> really, it's puzzling. So let's go move on to the next ones and then we try to eliminate the correct answer. So you must not forget to pack up the files. And well, in this case, this is number five. You see how it works? Uh, it sounds obvious, but it may not be. That's why I'm giving you the advice, the piece of advice. So I have to learn some Spanish. No, so you'll have to stay and finish it. And well, in this case, it has to be, I'm afraid this report is urgent. So you'll have to stay and finish it. And well, we have, so I have to learn some Spanish and it's obvious. You say, have been transferred to Madrid. Learn some Spanish. So, and well, in this one, it says here, so we have to go. Mm. So we have to go. No. No, oh, well, very good. It's already done. Thank God, because I couldn't <laughs> figure out. <laughs> so I don't have to go into the office much, and it's obvious. I can work from home. I think we all know a little bit about it. Well, most of you probably, because remember what happened during the pandemic and during the quarantine. We were all forced to work from home. I am still working forced to work from home. Uh, sometimes and always I do deliver le lessons. Uh, uh, well, I mean, in school uh, with one-to-one uh, -one lessons as well. So I don't have to go into the office much. So we don't need to discuss it any further. And well, oh, sorry, <laughs> I forgot about it. Let me just erase it so we don't we don't need to discuss it any further and well it's obvious that it's we have reached an agreement and with that i end this lesson and i hope you all loved it i'm going to stop sharing now uh remember that i have said the final examination on the 23rd of, Mar of march yes uh, by then, I'm going to activate it and you're going to have a whole week to do it. Uh, then I'm going to give a special, uh, how can I say, special mail because we have some, con I have some considerations for you as regards the final examination. And well, I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you have a good week, a nice week. Goodbye, everyone.